the killing of Christian Ombumseli on April 3rd, 2022. He died in Unit 2201 of a residence located at 3131 Northeast 7th Avenue in the city of Miami. We are charging 26-year-old Courtney Taylor Clenny with one count of second-degree murder in Christian's death. Police have arrested an OnlyFans model and charged her with stabbing her boyfriend to death at their condo in Miami. The victim is from here in Collin County. Courtney Clenny is charged with killing Plano native Christian Ambomselli back in April. She was taken into custody this morning in Hawaii more than four months after the stabbing. Clenny is a model on the subscription service OnlyFans and her attorney told the Miami Herald she acted in self-defense. Coming to you with an update on Courtney Taylor. Courtney Taylor, she's a big influencer with over 2 million people following her on IG. She's from Texas, but relocated to Miami with her Nigerian boyfriend. His name was Christian. Courtney surprised her whole social media tribe when she made headlines earlier this year after stabbing Christian on April 3rd, just a week before his 28th birthday, at their luxury apartment in Miami's Edgewater neighborhood. I covered that story back then and if you missed it, check it out. The link will be below for details about what happened. Around that time, several months ago, you had Christian's family very upset that Courtney hadn't been arrested. Instead, she was Baker acted and released his brother and his female cousin calling for justice. Both of them seemed like very decent people and they only wanted Courtney to be held accountable. Courtney was claiming self-defense and they didn't believe her. Fast forward to over four months later, the IG and OnlyFans model was arrested. Go ahead and take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel for all updates. You definitely don't want to miss when I drop a new video. So yeah, it's been over four months since a 27 year old was killed by his then 25 year old IG girlfriend. Her birthday also in April. She turned 26 not long after. And now the woman she's been arrested in connection with the case. Courtney was charged with second degree murder with a deadly weapon. A state judge in Hawaii ordered her to be held without bail pending extradition to Florida. Courtney made her initial appearance on August 11th at 1.30 p.m. where she waived her right to an extradition hearing. Public defender requested that the judge block extended media coverage, arguing that the international media and public interest in the case could hurt her ability to receive a fair trial. The judge denied the request and permitted media to cover the case. You also had the prosecuting attorney in Hawaii arguing not to let her out for that no bail warrant from Florida to be honored, highlighting that not only did Courtney have a warrant in Florida, but she also has warrants in Nevada and Texas. He said that she shouldn't be allowed to walk free in Hawaii because she has the resources to flee. The judge denied bail, but said the outstanding warrants did not play into his decision to honor the no bail warrant from Florida. It was the very serious nature of the allegations in the case with Christian that factored into his decision. Now, why was Courtney in Hawaii? You know, she's from Texas originally. She was living in Florida when she killed Christian, but now she's in Hawaii, what's going on? Apparently, Courtney said that she was in Hawaii for rehab. According to her attorney, she was in rehabilitation for substance abuse and post-traumatic stress disorder. Her Miami attorney shocked with the arrest because he said they had been cooperating with the investigation the whole time and they could have just communicated that they wanted to arrest her and allowed her to surrender instead of picking her up unexpectedly from rehab. Right, that's what Courtney's attorney said. It's also coming out that Courtney and Christian had a toxic relationship. Evidence gathered during the investigation that showed since July 2020 that they had an extremely toxic and combative relationship. It was Courtney who was putting hands on Christian. The security and management at their luxury apartment building documented many arguments between the couple. Courtney even kicked him out of the apartment at the end of March, but then a couple of days later, rekindled their relationship on April 1st, just two days before Courtney stabbed him. And now the prosecutor in Miami, she's released never seen before footage from two months before the fatal incident, showing Courtney putting hands on Christian in the elevator of their apartment building. The video was taken just two months before his death. In that video, it appears that Courtney, she's unable to select her floor, resulting in her punching the screen in frustration. Christian appears to enter after her and tries to calm her down. 
She then turns to him and begins hitting him. She continues to beat him and tug on his hair before he tried to push her off of him. And then you have another altercation that took place the same month as the incident in the elevator. That incident occurred outside of the building and it was caught on camera by one of their neighbors from the 12th floor. Yeah, I spoke with a neighbor who was here uh, in February and he says he witnessed a scuffle between the couple. It was so loud that he pulled out his cell phone and recorded it. We're going to hear from him in just a moment. But also today, we learned that the OnlyFans model has two open warrants in two states. Meanwhile, her attorney is insisting that the killing was self-defense. It was shocking because, you know, a lot of couples argue, a lot of couples do things and get into it, but not physical like that. That was Clenny's former neighbor speaking exclusively to NBC6. He says he took this video in February, two months before the fatal stabbing. The video doesn't have audio, but the neighbor says he heard the couple from the 12th floor. We just started to hear them arguing. And he started eating real quick and, you know, she was being a little aggressive, trying to jump in the water. This is more video of the couple in a fight released by the Miami-Dade state attorney. It shows Clenny slapping and beating Obumselli repeatedly in an elevator. Such interactions appear to have caused Clenny and Christian to separate at various times. The state attorney says this shows a pattern of violence in an unhealthy and unstable relationship that ended in murder. But Clenny's attorney says it's irrelevant and doesn't show what happened the day of the murder. A murder, he says, was in self-defense. A statement in part says, quote, The charging decision in this matter should have been made on the evidence of what occurred that evening in the apartment and nothing more. This is a case of self-defense, and the facts that will be presented at the trial will prove this. The chief medical examiner for Miami-Dade County confirmed that the cause of death was a stab wound to the chest and deemed it a homicide. The knife entered his chest at a downward angle to the depth of about 8 centimeters. Courtney instigated multiple incidents of DV. Here's another piece of information that came out. She was also arrested in July of last year in Las Vegas for putting hands on Christian then. So there's lots of evidence here that Courtney physically put hands on Christian all the time, which is weird because Christian said he preferred white women because of bad behavior that he saw in black women. But we're seeing several incidents that prove that Courtney had the same bad behavior that Christian was supposedly avoiding. It's just not making sense. And then you have a lot of black women refusing to get emotionally involved in this case because of his comments. He also offended black Americans calling them a kata. You know, listen, Christian, he could have his preference cool with me. The inconsistency is that he's hating the bad behavior in toxic black women, but accept that same bad behavior in toxic white women. It's going to definitely look like it's not about the bad behavior. If he really did not condone bad behavior, he should have left this woman the first time she put hands on him. He allowed this woman to drag him around and stayed in a relationship with her. She did it in Vegas. Then they caught her in the elevator in Miami. That same month of the elevator altercation, she was seen slapping him up on the sidewalk outside their building. And then the fourth known incident was his demise. So it seems like this was a regular occurrence with Courtney. At the end of the day, Courtney, she's out of order. There's no doubt about it. She's been out of order. And she really earned these charges that she's got here. They need to hold her accountable 100%. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Tell me this. Why would Christian accept the bad behavior in Courtney and didn't recognize her toxicity? If you want to get caught up on this case, click the link in the description to check it out. Also, if you want to see that elevator video for yourself, the link will be in the description for that as well. Special thank you to our brother, Adrian. I appreciate you, Adrian, for all of your support for the channel. You can support the channel too. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balanced analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.